starts from the morning of me finishing last vlog rainy weekend vlog y'all haven't seen that it's not here but anyway yes i know i look like a mess i just woke up it's the morning and i am filming a fall healthy recipes video right now as we speak so this whole video is just going to be about food and lucky enough for me i am a pumpkin lover i love pumpkin spice i love pumpkin everything i i warn you about the pumpkin overload that this video is about to bring to y'all it's a little overkill i'd say but welcome to today's vlog we're starting off with some breakfasts we have quite a couple. We have the pumpkin spice waffles, pumpkin spice protein smoothie. Oh, we also have pumpkin overnight oats. I'm gonna say out the recipes out loud and then y'all are gonna watch me make the breakfasts. Right now, I'm starting up making the pumpkin pancake slash waffles. One cup of non-dairy milk. I use milked walnuts, milked oats, milked cashews. Three-fourths cup of pumpkin puree, two eggs, two tablespoons of maple syrup, one and a half cups of oats, old-fashioned oats, one teaspoon of cinnamon, one teaspoon of pumpkin spice, one teaspoon of baking powder, and one fourth teaspoon of salt. The next recipe, we have the pumpkin spice protein smoothie. All you add into the blender is one banana, half a cup of pumpkin puree, three cups of milk, non-dairy, one fourth cup of oats, one scoop of vanilla protein powder, mine is from Bloom, thank you Bloom, one tablespoon of maple syrup, three fourths tablespoon of pumpkin spice, a half teaspoon of vanilla, and a half teaspoon of cinnamon, and one cup of ice. This is also vegan, by the way. <laughs> For the pumpkin overnight oats, which I can't wait to try, you just add one cup of pumpkin puree, one cup of non-dairy milk, three teaspoons of chia seeds, one fourth cup of pecans, and two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice, two tablespoons of maple syrup. I'll have all the recipes for the instructions down below, but y'all are gonna watch me make this. been overnight and these are now finished. I'm not a big fan of overnight oats. Uh, uh, uh. Excuse me, we're gonna attempt it. Surprisingly very soft and sweet and pumpkin spicy and I am blurry. That's not bad. I'd probably eat this like if I go camping or something. Yeah. Win win. So this is the credit for the pumpkin spice latte sauce that I'm about to do. And this is the credit for the other one. If you want to check these out for the recipe, go ahead. I'm about to make it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make I'm gonna make the pumpkin sauce first and then I'm gonna make the cold foam. I'm gonna attempt to do this, but here are all the recipes. I have the oat pumpkin milk condensed in a pumpkin puree, pumpkin pie spice, um half and half, and maple syrup with vanilla. Let's attempt to put this all together. So while the coffee sits in the hot water for a minute, now that we have the pumpkin spice sauce, we're gonna make the pumpkin spice cold foam.
after like five attempts on my pumpkin spice latte and cold foam. I hope this time it's actually tastes as good as I want it to taste. <laughs> it does look better. Mm. Wait, with the cold foam is actually really, really good. Now this, my friend, is a meal. Yeah, so that's so far for the breakfast. Okay, so I just came back from a workout, a training session, and I am starving. I don't know if this is healthy, but this is spicy pumpkin samosas. Now, I'm not 100% sure if these are healthy. I'm too lazy to too lazy to find out. But we're gonna have them as a after workout snack just because we haven't eaten anything since breakfast, so. Before I get started on the spicy pumpkin soup, the samosas are done. I have no idea like what you eat with this, like what kind of dipping sauce. So I'm also trying to incorporate all the Trader Joe's fall stuff into this video as well. But I'm gonna try the fall harvest salsa, which is looking really good. As you can see, we already had a bunch. All right. Hot. Oh, hot. Oh, that's bussing, bussing. My lord. This is the bun. Oh yeah, I recommend these. These are so um, good. We are now cooking the spicy pumpkin soup, which contains two cans of pumpkin puree. I'm probably making a small portion, so I'm probably doing like only one can. Four tablespoons of butter, one fourth cup of heavy whipping cream, half and half I'm using, two cups of chicken stock, two cups of water, three to four cloves of garlic, two onions, and some cumin. So let's see how this is, and I'll talk to y'all after I make it. Hi, I'm back. Long story short, the soup is cooking right now. While I'm making this, I'm going to make the pumpkin hummus that I made in my uh, ultimate fall vlog. If y'all haven't seen that, I will link that down below. As well. If my nose is red, I apologize. I would use. So the recipe for the pumpkin hummus is one can of chickpeas, one can of pumpkin puree, three cloves of garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice, two teaspoons of oil. I use avocado oil, one teaspoon of black pepper, two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of cumin and one teaspoon of paprika. So I'm just gonna do that right now. Okay, y'all see how this is empty now. I'm about to put everything in it. Boom. Voila. I'm gonna put this in this pumpkin, hopefully. I'm sorry, little pumpkin, but we're gonna have to use you. Greek yogurt and lemon. We're gonna try this spicy pumpkin soup out for my camera guys. That is the vine. Putting it with the fist. <laughs> Mm. Oh my, I'm gonna dip some bread in this too. That's lunch. Real cheese. Did she just do? 
So right here I'm making like a sausage, green beans, sweet potato, and potato skillet. And I'm also cutting up some chunks of apple to cook with the sausages. So right now what I'm gonna add to all of this, what I'm gonna season with all of this is avocado oil, maple syrup, some onion powder, parsley, oregano, some salt, and pepper. You could also make like so many other types of fall desserts with just sweet potato, but I am not doing that this video probably. Some cloves. So while the air fryer is cooking the sausages, papas, and green beans and apples, the side we're gonna have some spaghetti squash spirals, chunks of butternut squash, and seasonal tomato sauce. And then I'm also gonna add either autumn harvest creamy pasta sauce or the pumpkin alfredo sauce. Whichever one is gonna go on the spaghetti spirals. So I'm gonna warm this up and I'll get back to y'all. Warmed up the squash spirals, the butternut squash chunks. Now we're adding the sweet potato. And then just add some flakes of cilantro. And there, my friends, is the apple sausage, sweet potato, potato, green beans, skillet, up, along with the squash spirals. Let's try this. Let's do the spirals first. Oh, that's cool. Oh, bad. Now, papas. We got some chopped maple apple with the sausage in here. It's really good. I need a moment. Oh yeah, this is divine. Again, well done to that shit. That's the end of this video. I forgot to film an outro on my camera, but thank y'all for watching. If y'all want a part two, let me know. I'll do it. I'll see y'all in the next vlog.